Hi, I'm Cass. This is Bill's Order Mobility Ability Duo uh, back on site today uh, just to show you uh, different threshold ramps in a home setting. I'm going to just take a little screenshot here. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm Bill's, and like she mentioned, so this is a home that we're this looking at setting up. Yeah, so we have a couple different options. Like if somebody needs some stuff, I guess. Yes, so if somebody needs some equipment or some ramps after getting home from the hospital, um, and it's just a short term duration, just to get them by kind of thing. Okay. So I'll start with the most economical route. Okay, the, so what uh, is that one? This one here. So this one, you actually build it yourself. So you buy a kit and it comes with these bracketing, these brackets here. Okay, um, so you don't get the plywood? You don't get the plywood. You have to buy the plywood yourself, a three and a quarter inch thick. Um, and then you can make it different lengths depending on the slope that you need. So the kits start from four feet to go up to 12 feet. So four feet, six feet, eight feet, 12 feet. And then you just buy the appropriate size plywood that you need. Okay, so. This, so is, this is the most economical route, like I said, but it is heavy. They recommend usually 36 inches wide. A sheet of plywood's 48, but. 36 will cover a lot of different wheel wheelchairs and scooters and stuff like that, I guess. And doorways, too. And doorways, yeah. So, all right, well, maybe I can... Yeah, well, let's, let's, let's pan take it a over look. to you, Bills. Okay, well... Okay, let's go. All right, well, this maybe we here. should... Before we continue on, maybe oh, we should look at this thing. So this is the kit. This is the kit. Through. Yeah, so this is just a hinge kit. Hinge kit. 600 pound capacity, so that's cool. And then you put the plywood and you bolt this down yourself. So people can can uh, build this at home, and it's really economical. So hinge kit folds up out of the way, throw it under the deck when you're not using it, and at 12 feet long, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. So um, that is a first option. Okay, then we're looking at uh, well, if we're looking at if we're looking at ramps, let's do the ramps. So. Here we are again, we, we're bringing the, uh, I brought the, I have an eight foot ramp, so I brought that, but they come, they come six, eight, and 10 foot ramps, and 12 actually, 12 gets really long. In this actual circumstance, I'd go 12 cats. Yeah, 12. Because it's steep, you gotta be able to handle the person that's coming, let's say they're getting discharged from the hospital or whatever, this is, this is the, uh, you got to be able to walk down the, the ramp with them. Right. So. Uh, yeah, you don't want it too steep. You don't want to be slipping. No, you don't want to be slipping. And you got to be able to push. Now, you don't let the person go up by themselves. You should have somebody behind them. That's Just true. as a safety feature, right? Um, really, like this is just temporary solutions. These are portable ramps and stuff. They do sell permanent ramps, which we'll talk about sometime in the future. That, that, there's a code for that one. So every inch up, so if you measure from the, from the, the concrete up to the, the door sill, and if that was 30 inches, let's say, you'd need 30 feet out. So an inch up is a foot out. So in this particular case, we're just going to get people home so that they got discharged. Let's, let's find a solution. So this is the multi-fold suitcase wrap. Same as before. What's that? The same ramp as before. Yeah, so in a in a different setting. Yeah, so this is we showed this in the in the vans and stuff like that. We're just showing it at a at a house, and yeah, it's it's actually quite nice. Like I said, it'd be longer, but you just it's got the bent end like we mentioned, and so in this case, we're just trying to get them home so you can just unfold it and lay it out like this. Perfect build. Perfect. <laughs> I wish it was. Look at how good I am, Cass. Oh, you're still good. All right. But it so, is steep. <laughs> yeah, this is too steep. Like, you got to remember, you're going coming up and down this ramp with somebody in a wheelchair. And depending on the weight of the client, that gets steep. They'll take off on you. So you got to go a little bit longer. All right. So this is a nice solution to get in there. Now, since we've got this, I'm going to put this away for a minute because this is just showing you a ramp. Like I said, 10 or 12 feet long. I'd go longer for sure. Um, so, we'll pull this up out of the way and we'll talk about thresholds. What do you think? Oh, yeah, for sure. We have right. a couple different options. What's that? A couple different options. Yeah. So, we got a few options here. So, we'll just lay this thing down. 
Now, Want Cass, I'm going to let you do the rubber wrap Let's here. Do Let's do it. Okay. You have two different options. Well, we have two different options today for our thresholds. So, we'll do oh, you're going to do the aluminum? We'll do the aluminum first because it's lighter in the bills. Okay. <laughs> I knew you'd go light. Okay. So, this is the aluminum threshold ramp. So, as you can see, it does have some, some grid on there, just like the, uh, the eight foot portable ramp we just showed. So, something like this, just for a threshold, just to get you over. Um, an inch so, two inches maybe? Well, they got a little chart what that tells it? you. Yeah, the chart. Is it's not, no, there's an actual chart that we look at. So if you have a threshold, like going into a doorway and it's one inch, they have a chart telling you you need it. Like right. they would give you a chart telling you how long the ramp should be. Right. Okay, so, yeah, so if the, it's two thing. inches up, one inch up, it'd be like, I, I don't have the chart in front of me, 16 inches long, two inches, maybe 24, three inches longer and longer as the height increases. What was the, uh, the slope chart Yeah. in the comments? So, um, but like the, the doorway over there is really quite high. Yes, so this wouldn't be appropriate for that, of course. That's too, that's too well, high. We can put it there just to see. How about that? Okay. Let's do it. So, it's doable, but it's really steep. Yeah. Hey. So, yeah, you're right. It's not bad. It looks pretty good, but it's it's actually, it'll, it would do, but I'd, I'd have it longer for sure. Yeah. I'd follow the chart. Like you say, you get your tape measure, measure it from the measure. deck to the top of the door sill. Right. And these come in multiple sizes anyway. Okay. That's just an example of one, one ramp. Okay. Um, but they range anywhere from 12 inches to probably 48 Okay. So what do we have here now? So these are these are the rubber threshold ramps. So these oh. ones are good for both inside and outside, and they come in pieces. So depending on the slope that you need, um, you just pick those those pieces. So it starts with. Well, let's see. Box. How do those? Okay, let me just take a look. Yeah. So they're just like little pieces, like. They're little pieces like Legos. Okay, so you just put them together. So if you need it higher together. and higher and higher, you just put the pieces together. Yes, and the maximum you can achieve on these. Four inches. Okay, so, so that's the that's the longest. That's is four longest. inches. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that looks actually pretty good. So right here, just only one and a half inch rise. Okay, so that's one and a half. One and a half. Okay, so um, what do you like about this, Cass? I like it. So for me personally, they don't scratch floors, whereas those ones might. Um, and they're durable. And right here. So okay. You can see on those ones, you don't really have the same, but this one have a nice slope on the side here. So yeah. If you're going up over a walker or a wheelchair, then you have you can get on it from the side easily. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, it's not a sharp edge. You can come at an angle. Right. So on a commercial building, at a home, wherever, in your house. And these are standard thirty-six inches, but you can cut them too. That's the other. Yeah. Thing. So if it's too wide, you can cut them. You Whereas, can cut them because they're all rubber. Well, yeah, the thresholds. You can get narrow thresholds, aluminum ones. You just, you'd have to measure that. Yeah, so, you have to measure. yeah. You can make mistakes with these. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So then you could. Uh, oh, so those are really neat. They're heavy. They're I heavy like though, that. Yes. And then what else do you have here? You brought this one because it's got a big step. Yes. So this is a different. This one doesn't fold. So this is kind of like. A little louder, Cass. A little louder from the back. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but this is just... Oh, that looks actually pretty good. Yeah. So... Another option. Okay, so here, I'll All just right. show a couple features that people sort of like on this. Yeah, let's Again, do it. Again, so this ramp is all aluminum with the grip tape on it. And then you've got... You can you can uh, drill it through so it doesn't move as well. So if you did, you were worried about it falling or whatever, you can you can put a concrete... A uh, bit in there, like put a screw in there, and away you go. It stays in place. So that's, or if it's a wood decking, is whatever you need. They have holes made already for fastening. Yeah, let's see so that. That's, yeah. Right here. So that's pretty good. And then this, so this is, well, this is like a threshold right here. This is a threshold wrap that's really long. Okay. So, uh, well, we could, like I said, we didn't, I didn't bring all the ramp sizes, but it gives you an idea. Let's go back up. 
So this would probably be more appropriate for a stir like this. Yeah, this is pretty good because it's it's long and you could fasten it. And look at that. Slope. Yeah. That's that's pretty good slope. Yeah. Right? Much better. So that's not so steep. So going in, nothing gets hung up. It's really nice and smooth. And uh, we'd get the carpet out of the way. The carpet wouldn't be there. We'd have to have a nice smooth transition. So yeah. All right. So from the mobility ability duo, Bills and Cass, we Bills gave. Cass. We just wanted to give you a little rundown, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. All right. Bye.